welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to send ATG certificate over email for NGO donation received via cash free. So, I am an owner of an NGO and I am collecting donations from all of my donors with the help of cash free payments. What I want is that every time I receive a new donation with the help of cash free payments, automatically an ATG certificate should be generated with the help of Google Docs and in our Google Drive, we'll get the PDF file link which will help us to send email on our Gmail with the attachment of the ATG certificate. For that, we are going to create an automation between all of these applications with the help of Pably Connect. In Pably Connect, to start an automation process, we need trigger and actions. In this process, my trigger application is going to be cash free payments and my action applications are going to be Google Docs, Google Drive and Gmail. If you want to learn how to create this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to send ATG certificate via email for NGO donation received via cash free. So, I am an owner of an NGO and I want that whenever any payment is received by a cash free for my NGO as a donation, automatically an ATG certificate should be created for the donor who have done the payment and an email should be forwarded with the attachment of that PDF file of ATG certificate and it should be forwarded to my donor. For that, we need to create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account. If you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account as I'm an existing user. After that, you can see the all Pabli apps window from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. Then you can see the dashboard of Pabli Connect. To start an automation process, we need to create a workflow. For that, we need to click on the top right corner button right over here, that is create workflow. Then you can see a dialog box in front of you, which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as send ATG certificate over email for NGO donation received via cash free. So this is the name of my workflow that I want to give. If you want, you can give a name to your workflow as per your requirement. After that, it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, you have to click on this drop down right over here. You can see these are the folders that I've created in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a folder as NGO donations cash free automation and after selecting the folder and giving the name to our workflow we are going to click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of send ATG certificates over email for NGO donations received via cash free and there are two windows in front of you one says trigger another says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two steps. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is response towards our trigger. In an automation process there can be only one trigger step but various action steps. So firstly we are going to set up our trigger step. For that we have to click on this arrow right over here. It is asking for us to choose our trigger application. In the introduction I've already told you that our trigger application is going to be cash free so I'm going to select cash free. After selecting a trigger application, we need to select a trigger event. For the trigger event, we are going to select it as payment wire form because I am collecting payments from my donors in the form of payment form. For that, I am going to select my trigger event as payment wire form. After selecting the trigger application and the trigger event, you can see Pabli Connect has provided us with a webbook URL. With the help of this URL, we are going to connect Pabli Connect with cash free. For that, we have to follow all these steps given right here below. Firstly, we need to open our cash free account. As you can see, it's the cash free account and currently I'm in a test mode. After that, we have to click on the payment gateway right over here. You can see this is the payment gateway. On the left side of my screen, you can see there are multiple folders from which we are going to scroll down and we're going to select developers. Then you can see over here there are multiple options from which we are going to click on webhooks. As we are doing payment with the help of payment form, we are going to select it. After selecting the payment form, we are going to click on add webhook endpoint. You can see there is a new dialog box on which it is asking for a webhook URL. So we are going to copy the unique webhook URL that Pabli Connect has provided us by clicking on copy. And then we are going to paste it right over here. After that, we are going to click on test and add. After that, you can see the status is success. That means that the URL that we have entered is correct. After that, we are going to click on add. 
As you can see over here, it says webhook added successfully. That means a webhook is added successfully. If I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect, over here you can see a response is captured. This is a test response. We are going to create a new response. For that, we have to click on recapture webhook response. We are going to click on yes. As you can see over here, it says waiting for a webhook response. I'm going to open my cash free account again. Now what we are going to do is we're going to scroll up and in the payments form, we are going to click on all right over here. So this is the payment form that I've created for the form code. It says NGO donation and other details and a URL is also provided. We are going to copy this URL from here and we are going to open this URL in our incognito mode and we are going to do a test payment. For that, we are going to open our incognito mode. So as you can see, this is the payment form that I've created and with the help of this form, we are going to do a test payment. Firstly, it is asking for the NGO donation. So I'm going to write a price as 9000. Then for the name, I'm going to write in a dummy name. I've written a name as test account 123. For the number, I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number. After that, for the email, I'm going to write in a dummy email as test account 123 After filling all the details, I'm going to click on pay securely. Then over here in the new window, it says add contact details. I'm going to click on proceed to payment. After that, we have to click the method of payment. For that, we have to click on card right over here. It's asking for the card number. So I'm going to enter the dummy card number as you can see right over here. These are all the test cards. After that, for the card holder name, I'm going to write it as test account 123. For the expiry date, I'm going to write in a dummy expiry date. And for the CVV, I'm going to write in a dummy CVV. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on pay now. Then it is asking for the OTP and over here a test OTP is given. So I'm going to write in a test OTP and after that, I'm going to click on pay. As you can see, payment is successful. Now I'm going to go back to my Pabli Connect and I'm going to check whether the payment that we have done right now with the help of cash free payment form is captured in our Pabli Connect or not. For that, I'm going to open Pabli Connect. And yes, as you can see over here, a response is captured in our Pabli Connect. For the customer's name, it says test account 123, the dummy mobile number that we have entered, the amount, order ID, amount details title as NGO donation, and all the other details. So this means that you're successfully connected cash free with Pabli Connect. After setting up our trigger step, we need to set up our action step. For that, you have to click right over here. And for the action application, we are going to select it as Google Docs. So I'm going to select Google Docs. After that, it is asking for us to select our action event. And our action event is going to be create document from template. We have selected our action event as create document from template because I have created an ATG certificate template in my Google Docs and I want that whenever a payment is done via cash free automatically with the help of this template that we have created in our Google Docs, a document should be created according to the details of my donor. For that, we have selected our action event as create document from template. After that, we are going to click on connect in order to connect Google Docs with Pabli Connect. Then a new window is going to appear in front of you on which you have to click on add new connection. But if you have an existing connection, you can choose this option. After that, it's saying sign in with Google. We are going to click on this. A new window is open in front of you on which it is asking for a permission. I'm going to click on allow as this is a safe process and my data is perfectly safe with Pabli Connect. As you can see, we have successfully authorized Pabli Connect with Google Docs. After that, it is asking for us to select the template document. So I have created a template in the name of ATG Certificate NGO Donation. So for the template document, I am going to select it as ATG Certificate NGO Donation. After that, it is asking for the new document's name. So this means that every time a new document will be created from the template, we have to give a name to that document. For that, what I want is that every time a new document creates, it should start with the donor's name. For that, we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. For that, we have to click right over here. As you can see, this is the response from our previous trigger step. We are going to click on this arrow and this is the data that was captured in our previous response. As I want the document name should start with the donor's name, I'm going to map the data for the donor's name. After that, we are going to put a dash and I want dash ATG certificate. So this means that every time a new document will be created, it will start with the donor's name, 
dash etg certificate as this is a static data it will not change according to any response captured in a previous step after that it is asking for the new documents location in my google drive i have created a folder in the name of etg certificate of donors and i want that every time a new document will be created it should save in this folder for that i'm going to select my new documents location as etg certificates of donor after that it is asking for the date donor name and all the other details so in the template that i've created you can see there are multiple values in which you can see there are two curly brackets in front and in the end of the value so these values right over here are the variables i want that every time a new response will be captured automatically the data over here in the place of this variable should be updated according to the new response of the donor so what we are going to do is we are going to map the data for all these steps Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to map the data from our previous trigger step right over here. Firstly, it is asking for the date. So I'm going to map the data right over here. Over here, you can see in the previous response capture, the date is given in the format of UTC time zone format. And I want to enter the date in a normal format. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an amazing feature by Pabli that is text formatter. So I'm going to enter the text formatter. And over here in the action step, I'm going to select it as split text. And then I'm going to click on connect. I selected my action application as split text because I'm going to split the date that we have received. Firstly, we are going to map the data by clicking right over here. As we want to split the text, I'm going to enter this as I want to split this data. I want to split this data from the T right over here and I don't need all these values. I just need the date in front of it right here. For that, for the separator, I'm going to select it as T because I want that after T, I don't want any value. So I'm going to write over here as T. After that, for the segment index, as I just want the index in the front of this data, I'm going to select it as first right over here. After that, I'm going to click on save and send test request. As you can see in the result, we just got the date right over here. So this is the date that we wanted. So in my Google Docs over here, for the date, I'm going to map the data from this step. So this is the date, I'm going to map it. After that, it is asking for the donor's name. For the donor's name, I'm going to map the data again. As you can see over here, this is the donor's name. I'm going to map this. After that, it is asking for the donor email. So I'm going to map the data for the donor email from our previous step. For the donor code, we are again going to map the data. Click over here. We are going to map the data for the donor code as order ID right over here. For the amount, I'm going to map the data for the amount. Then for the receipt number, I'm again going to map the data for the order ID. For the date, I'm going to map the data for the date that we got in our text formatter by Pabli. For the mode of payment, I'm going to write it as cash free as we are getting the payment with the help of cash free. After that, for the reference number, I'm going to write in a reference number. For the reference number, I've written it as cash free underscore and then we are going to map the data for the form ID that we got. So every time a new reference number will be created, it will start with the cash free underscore and the form ID that will be updated according to the new response captured in our trigger step. If you want, you can select a reference number according to your requirement. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on save and send test request. As you can see over here, we got a positive response and we also got a document ID right over here. Now I'm going to open my Google Drive. I'm going to check whether a document is created in my Google Drive folder or not. For that, I'm going to open my Google Drive. And yes, as you can see over here, a new document is created. I'm going to open this. The name of the document is test account 123 ATG certificate. So this was the name of our donor that we gave. And this is the ATG certificate that is created from the template that we have created in our Google Docs into a document. And over here in the place of all the variables, it has the information of the donor who have done the payment. The name as test account 123, email as test account 123 with the date and all the other details. So now I'm going to go back to my public connect and over here in the document you can see over here it says private to only me so only I have the access of this document but I want to forward this document to all of my donors for that what we are going to do is we are going to add another step so for the action application I'm going to select it as Google Drive and for the action event as share file with anyone because we want that the file over here in our Google Drive should be accessible to anyone. For that, we are going to select our action event as share a file with anyone. After selecting the action application and the event, we are going to click on connect in order to connect Google Drive with Babli Connect. 
the new window is going to appear in front of you as I have the existing connection I'm going to select existing connection but if you want you can add a new connection after selecting I'm going to click on save as you can see, we have connected Google Drive with Pabli Connect. It is asking for the file ID. In my previous action step over here, you can see in the response that was received, over here we got the document ID. So this ID right over here is the ID of this document. We want that this document should be accessible to anyone that we want. For that, what we are going to do is, we are going to map the data in the place of this file ID by clicking right over here, clear all the data from here. We are going to map the data from from the previous step we are going to click right over here and in this step right over here we are going to map the data for so i'm going to map the data for the document id right over here so the data over here has now become dynamic and it will be updated according to the new response that means every time a new document will be created with the help of google docs automatically that document will be accessible to everyone after that we are going to click on save and send test request as you can see, a response is received and over here it says anyone with link. So if I'm going to go back to the document that is created in our Google Docs and over here now it says anyone with the link. This means that anyone can have the access of the document with the help of a link. And in the response, we get all of these links right over here. And we are going to use the PDF link right over here as we want to send a PDF attachment with the mail that we are forwarding towards our donor. After that, we are going to set up our another action step. As I want to send an email to all of my donors, for that I'm going to select Gmail as my action application. After selecting our action application, we are going to select an action event. And our action event is going to be send email. We have selected our action event as send email because we want to send an email with the attachment of the ATG certificate that is created in our Google Drive. After that, we are going to click on connect. Then a new window is going to appear in front of you. As I have the existing connection, I'm going to click on save. But if you want, you can add a new connection. Over here, you can see we have connected Gmail with Public Connect. Firstly, it is asking for the recipient email address. So we are going to map the data for the donor's email address. For that, we have to click right over here. We are going to click on the response of the cash free that was captured. As we want the email address of the donor, I'm going to map the data for the email address of the donor. After that, it is asking for the CC and BCC. I'm going to skip this part. For the sender's name, I'm going to write it as XYZ Foundation because my foundation's name is XYZ. So if you want, you can write your own sender's name right over here. After that, for the email subject, I'm going to write it as ATG certificate for your donation to our NGO. So this is the email subject that I want. If you want, you can write an email subject according to your requirement. After that, for the reply to, I'm going to skip this part. For the email content, type I'm going to select it as plain after that for the email content I'm going to write it as so this is the email content body that I want it starts as hello and then I have mapped the data of the donor's name so that every time a new payment will be done the name of that donor will be mentioned right over here it says as greetings of the day I hope this email finds you well I'm writing to express my deepest gratitude on the behalf of XYZ Foundation NGO for your incredibly generous donation your support means the world to us and plays a pivotal role in helping us achieve our mission your contribution will directly impact the life of countless individuals in need, empowering us to continue our efforts. We understand that your decision to donate is a reflection of your compassion and commitment to making a positive difference in the world. Your kindness not only inspires us but also gives us hope to those who we serve. As a token of appreciation, we would like to give you an ATG certificate which is attached to this mail. Once again, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your unwavering support. Together, we are transforming lives, building a brighter future for all. Thank you. Regards, XYZ Foundation. So this is the content that I want for my email. After that, it is asking for the file name. We are going to enter the name of the file that will be attached to this email. For the file name, I want that it should start with the name of my donor. For that, we are going to map the data from our previous step by clicking right over here, then over here. And as I want my file name to start with my donor's name, I'm going to map the data for the name. Then I want it as dash ATG certificate. So the name of the file will start with the donor's names dash ATG certificate. After that, it is asking for the attachment. I'm going to map the data from a previous step. As over here, you can see in a previous step in a Google Drive, we got multiple links. As I want the file that is attached to this mail should be in a PDF form. I'm going to map the data for the PDF form. After filling all the details, we are going to click on save and send test request. As you can see over here, it says result status as sent. So I'm going to open my Gmail and I'm going to check whether I've received an email or not. 
For that, I'm going to open my Gmail account. And yes, as you can see, we have received an email in my Gmail account. The subject is ATG certificate for your donation to our NGO. And it starts with hello test account 123, greetings of the day, the content of the body, thank you, regards XYZ Foundation with the attachment of the ATG certificate in PDF file. I'm going to open this. And yes, as you can see, it has all the details of the donor, the name of the donor, the email address, the donor code with the date the name again and all the other details right over here. So this means that we have successfully created an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. Now for all of you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another test payment with the help of Cash Free and I'm going to check whether a new email will be received in our Gmail account or not. For that, I'm going to do another test payment. This is the payment form that I've created with the help of Cash Free and this is a test payment form. I'm going to fill in all the details. So as you can see, I've filled in all the details for the NGO donation amount as 50,000, for the name as smartuser123, for the phone number a dummy mobile number, for the email as smartuser123 at the rate publitudes.com. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on pay securely. Then you can see a dialog box which is saying add contact details. I'm going to click on proceed to payments. Then for the method of payment, I'm going to select it as cards. Over here, you can see all the test cards from which I'm going to select a dummy test card. I'm going to enter a dummy card holder name. That is smart user 123. For the expiry, I'm going to write in a dummy expiry. For the CVV, I'm going to write in a dummy CVV. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on pay now. Then it is asking for the OTP and the hint is given over here as the OTP. It is triple one and triple zero. After filling the OTP, I'm going to click on pay 50,000. As you can see over here, it says the payment is successful and it has all the payment details. So now I'm going to open my Gmail account and I'm going to check whether I have received a new email or not. For that, I'm going to open my Gmail account. As you can see, we have received a new email in our Gmail account with, with the subject as ATG certificate for your donation to our NGO. And it says, hello, smart user 123, greetings of the day. I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to express my deepest gratitude on the behalf of XYZ Foundation NGO for your incredibly generous donation. Your support means the world to us and plays a pivotal role in helping us achieve our mission. Your contribution will directly impact the lives of countless individuals in need, empowering us to continue our Efforts. We understand that your decision to donate is a reflection of your compassion and commitment to making a positive difference in the world. Your kindness not only inspires us, but also gives us hope to those who we serve. As a token of appreciation, we would like to give you an ATG certificate which is attached to this mail. Once again, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your unwavering support. Together, we are transforming lives and building a brighter future for all. Thank you. Regards, XYZ Foundation. As an attachment to this mail, we also have received the ATG certificate in PDF form. I'm going to open this and yes, as you can see, it has all the details of the donor that is smartuser123. It's the donor's name. For the email as smartuser123 at rate publitudes.com, the donor quote, the name of the donor again, the date of the payment and all the other details. So this means that we have successfully created an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done. I'm an owner of an NGO and what I wanted was that every time a new payment is done with the help of cash free as an NGO donation, automatically an ATG certificate should be forwarded towards a donor as attachment to a mail. For that, we have created an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. To start an automation in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. I have created a workflow in the name of send ATG certificates over email for NGO donation received via cash free. And these are the trigger and action steps of this automation process. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if, the, if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. So not just with these applications, you can automate more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask us queries on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any questions regarding the Pabli Connect pricing, you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.